in case y'all don't know, this is my hair like jumping for joy. Yay! <laughs> Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host, Pinky, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I revive my hair. My hair literally went from this to this. So if you would like to see how I got this hairstyle using Cantu products, which are very, very affordable, then just stay tuned. But before I begin, I would like for everyone to check out my website, levitarosastyle.com. I have a bunch of cute accessories featured on that website, including these cute earrings here. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So you guys, my hair. I've been so lazy with my hair lately. I have a new website and so I've been getting orders coming in and I've been like kind of busy with that and school and different things that I haven't even really been attending to my hair. And also I've been neglecting my YouTube channel. So basically I just decided that whenever I do my hair, I'm gonna try to record it. Maybe not every single time, but I'm going to do my best to just record whatever I do. It's just been up in a puff these past few days. And so it's time for my hair to be refreshed. And I just wanted to show you guys what I do to refresh like an old twist out. This started off as a twist out, now it's a puff. Whenever you see a puff, I was lazy. So I'm gonna try to get out of the puffs because I'm just being lazy. Um, in fact, I'm gonna just snatch my hair out right now. I know we all have those times where we want to like refresh our hair like in the middle of the week and basically I'm just gonna be doing another twist out so I'm gonna be using an old faithful Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream I feel like every natural has tried this at least once um, this still works for me. It's been working since day one if I run low on money I know I can always buy this for $5.99 okay the next thing I'm going to be using is Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coil Calm Detangler. My grandma actually put me on this. Like she she was using this. I'm like, hey, what's that you're using? And um, her hair's been looking so cute lately. I was like, let me try this. And also, um, I know this is like a do growth oil bottle, but this is just like a mixture of a bunch of different oils. I have olive oil. Um, black jamaican castor oil the some of the do growth oil coconut oil too like all the oils that I, my hair likes i have in this bottle and i'm going to be using that to refresh my hair as well um wide tooth comb got my spray bottle of just water there's nothing extra just water i'm gonna section my hair off in the back i always start in the back i don't know about y'all Someone told me on one of my um, past videos, I was like, you need a trim. And I'm like, you know what? I think I kind of do. What I'm going to do is take my water bottle, spray this a little bit. Not too much because my hair holds water and I want to be able to like get up and go in the morning. And then I'm going to take some of the Coil Calm and spray it in my hand. This is brand new. And that's the way it looks. Oh, really runny. And apply it from root to tip. And this helps like detangle, loosen up any knots I might have, you know. Then I'm going to take a little oil and apply that focusing on the ends mainly i don't know if y'all can see but my hair is starting to wake up <laughs> it's like hmm is that moisture is that oil now i'm gonna take some of the cream and in case y'all don't realize i'm using the loc method now look at that In case y'all don't know, this is my hair like jumping for joy. Yay! <laughs> because it's it's been a few days and it's been a little dry. Um, I don't know if y'all like me, but my like the beady beads <laughs> in the back of my neck, 
they need love too. You know, they're a little bit shorter, but they need love too. Now lube it down, BDB. Ain't no excuse. Lube it down. <laughs> I feel like these are the times that I really get to see the length of my hair. I always put a little extra cream on the ends and comb through them with the, you know, rat tail comb, comb through those ends and then just twist it like so. And here is my twist and I'm just gonna I'm going to snip the end of that because my ends need to be snipped so I'm going to snip it and some people have told me that's like really hard for them to do but if you think about the benefits that your hair is going to like receive from you doing it cut them off before they have to cut off like this much and that's happened to me before like I've held on to dead ends for so long that they had to cut this much. And I was just like, what? My hair? Not my hair. Yo hair girl. Snip them ends. Keep them snipped. And I feel like this is a good way to do it. I always try to make sure I get my edges with oil. Because that's the main thing that keep my edges intact. Somebody did my braids and took my edges out. Took my edges out right at my temples. I, I had like zero edges. The braid literally came out with my edges in them. I saw the root of my edges in the braid. Anyway, um, my edges were gone, right? So I used a pure form of coconut oil. This is parachute coconut oil. This is what I used on my edges. I massaged it on my hair every single night and it literally grew my edges back. They were back within like, I would say, within like a month y'all don't sleep on massaging your roots and getting like the blood flow working through your roots i used to like overlook that when people said it but it's so true it worked for me you know i've been getting a lot of comments saying my hair looks like ramen noodles i see it okay so um here are my twists this took me like 45 minutes to do, which can seem like a long time, but it goes by quickly if you like watching some on TV or like are distracted while you're doing your hair. I'm gonna take some peppermint tea tree oil. I got this from Sally. If you're someone like me who has a very itchy scalp and you know, you stay scratching, that's not really good. Um, I would make sure that you do an ACV rinse when you wash your hair to get rid of the dandruff and then you during the week you can use peppermint oil and spray it on your scalp and it truly does the trick and you smell good when you use it I love this stuff this is how much shed hair I lost during this process which is really not much considering my hair has been in a puff for the past three or four days. This is actually really, really good. I feel like, especially for my thick hair. Here are the ends that I clipped. And as y'all can see, they are, um, some of them are kind of like straight kind of at the end, like more loose than my curl pattern. And that's kind of how you can tell that they needed to be cut. So this is how much hair I lost in total which is not that much guys so i would encourage you to go ahead and clip those ends girl it's not even that much and then your hair is going to grow so much more just because you clip that little tiny bit okay guys so that's it for tonight i'm about to slip my bonnet on that i just bought where my bonnet at Ooh, this one tight when you get a new bonnet that joint tight make sure all my twists are in there Okay, my hair is in here safe and sound. Like I don't have no edges, but my hair is just blonde. Um, <laughs> so let's just fast forward to the next clip. Here are my twists. They got a little scrunched up because of my bonnet. And of course, shrinkage. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on my hands and take them down. And they came out really cute. Oh, look at that. Don't you just love natural hair? So I'm just gonna um take these up to twist apart and then I'm gonna break 
each individual part apart as well okay so if you watch my videos then you should already know what's next afro pick because while i love definition and i feel like i do have some really defined curls here did you notice how those products and twisting my hair and just overnight drying just completely snapped my hair back to life i love definition but i love volume even more so i always have to take my afro pick and pick my hair out because to me that's the best that's my best hair is when it's lots of volume and I always pick from the root you know trying not to disturb the curls too much okay guys here are the finished results my hair feels so soft and full of life curly it has like a slight shine to it even though i picked it out it doesn't it's not really that frizzy if you look at it it's not just too frizzy you saw how easy it was people think i have to do all this extra stuff to keep my hair healthy and not really like literally i use those products that i showed you the same simple process it just takes time to do it having natural hair can be a little time consuming but to me the reward is worth it but i would love to hear what you guys think about how i refresh my coils um i would love to hear how you do it maybe y'all can give me some tips and tricks on different products i could try i love it when you guys tell me what you use because it always introduces me to something that i love so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one peace